Safety in the woods is extremely important, especially when you get deeper into the woods and help might not be right around the corner. Um, and doing all these activities that we do with survival and bushcraft require us to use blades like this, saws like this, and uh, big heavy axes. All could be super, super dangerous. And if you cut yourself and you're deep in the woods or even a couple, maybe even in your backyard, right? It's not gonna be a good situation. Your fingers are bandaged up or your legs bandaged up for some time. Maybe even you need hospitalization. So I think you get the point that um, it's important that we are safe when in the woods. And recently I've been working with my son on knife safety and saw safety. And I thought I'm gonna share something with everybody because I think a lot of people like to use these around the house. And if you're going to a more um, car camping type environment, you might have one of these along to cut up firewood. And to be honest, um, picking up just small wrist size logs and cutting them up with this, is usually way faster than using an ax anyway. So in the summertime, um, this might be a go-to for you. So I'm gonna show you today one little trick that you can utilize to keep yourself safe so your saw doesn't jump and cut your fingers off. Okay, so when cutting a piece of wood like this, okay, um, normally the, the most dangerous part of this is while you're sawing, you get out of control and your saw jumps, so it takes a bounce like this, it, but it bounces towards your fingers and you cut your hand. Okay, um, very, very bad situation at that point. I had it happen to me before, it's not good. The way your saw rips open your skin, ah, bad thing. So what we wanna focus on is our initial cut and then our remaining cut, okay? Two stage um, thing going on here. What we're gonna do for our initial cut is we are going to put our hand over the log. Now, at this point, your saw can still jump, but we wanna make sure we have some distance. Preferably, we open up our thumb and then slide it back a little bit. Get an inch or two between an open hand. Okay, so between here and my saw, I should have a couple inches. Mm -hmm. And then I'm just gonna keep my hand right here. And all that I'm gonna do at this point is I'm just going to slowly get this started. All right, once I get this started then, all right, I don't want this to jump and cut my hand. So what I'm gonna do at this point is I'm going to take my hand through my saw like this, and I'm gonna hold the backside. If the saw jumps at all during this point, it's just gonna hit my arm, and it's not going to cut my fingers. So now, really easily, I can begin to cut. What's also nice about this is that the free end that's gonna fall away, I can add some pressure to. It's gonna keep our kerf open. So I can do this. Free, I can let that fall, nothing else can happen. Okay, so that's it, a simple, easy tip. But one thing I do wanna address, people are going to ask, well, listen, your hand's out here at the beginning of the cut. Um, there's still a chance that saw can jump at the beginning. And yes, there is. But placing your hand initially through that saw this way to start your cut, um, it seems a little bit more difficult for most people. And seeing students here at the school um, utilize saws, they have a very hard time getting that started. Um, there's a lot more focus on most people during the initial cut because they want to get it right where they want to get it. So I'm um, placing your hand there, okay, thumb plus a little bit away from that saw blade and just taking it easy to just enough to get the curve started and the cut started um, works well. Once the saw blade gets in a little bit, okay, um, that's usually when people really start going after it and that is when that saw blade's gonna jump. It's normally not gonna jump at them first few strokes. So that's why I like to teach that two-part method. I think it works way better for people. There's a lot more focus at the beginning, a little bit sloppy towards the end because they might be even getting tired. So the hand through works wonder. So quick tip, give it a try. Let me know what you think. This was Dan Wallach at Cold Cracker Bushcraft. As always, check us out at coldcrackerbushcraft.com. And until next video, stay in the woods.